Model War for a 3 week 7 reward is an LMG. I don't know about you guys, but to me this is ridiculous. Regardless, I'm going to review it for you guys and I'll tell you exactly what I think about it. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Unlocking this LMG took me probably 2 games of multiplayer. Don't do it on zombies, go to multiplayer and you will get it within 2-3 to three games. If you haven't progressed it from before, probably take you a few more games more than that. This is basically the attachments that comes with it and it advertised as undetectable by radar, has more uh, aim down sight, speed and precision sight picture. All of them are really not necessary or not that beneficial in zombies except for maybe the aim down sight. I'm not really impressed with the camos that comes with it. Multiplayer camos are probably better than zombies to be honest, so there's that. Alright, let's go to gameplay. Basically, I did not change anything in the attachments, so I just went with whatever it comes with. I put Flawless Crystal and the Legendary Tool, Mag of Holding, and I got all the perks as well. With all of those attachments, you get a reserve of 750 of ammo. To be honest, you're not going to run out of ammo easily. As you can see, it does pretty good damage on tier 3 zombies. The problem with it, however, is too heavy. You can't really move around or maneuver, which is something really important in tier 3. I was lucky that I was downed once, but in general, I can't even sprint run very well. Now, I didn't have any mods when I chased this HVT disciple. Look at what happened. It took forever to kill this disciple. I mean, I was almost out of ammo right before I killed him. And man, the health bar barely moves. And with the move so slow and the disciple enhancement on zombies I'd say it's pretty risky going to run with this gun at tier 3 by the way half of the fight with this disciple is on times 1.5 speed just FYI then after that I was like if we want to know if a gun is really good we should take it to the toughest boss on the main map of MWZ and that is of course the storm caller keep in mind that I put a dead wire ammo mod on it and this is what happened I was able to tackle it in a good amount of time but it wasn't an OP or broken gun against this disciple unfortunately I wasn't able to find any napalm ammo mod I found everything else though and that's the irony of this game sometimes okay for this abomination it's not even an HVT and the health bar barely kept going down. Then I got to a point where the mega abomination just disappeared out of nowhere so basically I just gave up right here. Okay don't go too far let me show you a mega abomination HVT. This clip is also times 1.5 speed. I'll tell you what it took forever. I didn't see any crazy moments where the health bar would go down so fast or felt that the gun has anything to offer chasing HVTs in tier 3. Okay, moving on to the Dark Aether. I was lucky the bounty was a Mangler, so I had to try this LMG on it without popping the Juggernaut suit. I would say it was fair fight, he went down pretty fast and I was able to deter all zombies around. I lagged once and boy, speaking of lagging in this game recently, it's been almost unplayable. Anyways, I lagged once and then I was down, but luckily I had a couple self revives. Now, while I was doing this contract, I did notice one thing. I was able to get a napalm ammo mod and it kind of made a difference to be honest whether it was with the disciples or with the zombies so if you ever gonna use this gun i would infill with napalm ammo mod and also i would add incendiary rounds on it like i said i didn't change anything when i tested it but here are my suggestions add incendiary rounds on it have napalm ammo mod or get one in the game use lighter stock i would use the ft tag dash elite stock and also, I would change the barrel to the ST Pyro Heavy Barrel. If you're interested, give it a try with the suggested attachments that I just told you about and let me know what you find out. I'd appreciate any feedback and comments on this video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Week 7 reward is not big of a deal. That's the bottom line. Appreciate all likes and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.